Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, just a couple things to talk about today. Uh, first off, I've decided that I am going to go home and uh, go back to California and visit my parents for Thanksgiving, which is coming up in about two weeks. Uh, my mom's been kind of putting the full court press on me to come home and uh, she wants me to do it for both Christmas and Thanksgiving. I don't know if I'll be able to afford to do that, but I at least know I'll be available for Thanksgiving because like I said, I'm not working yet. So that was kind of the big question is, you know, I'll do it if I'm not working, but uh, can't necessarily just afford to fly home all the time. You know, I've flown home twice already in the last few months and this will be a third time and it's about a thousand dollars a pop to do it, including, you know, parking at the airport and flying back and forth and all that stuff. But uh, my mom kind of, like I said, pressured me to do it by promising to make some of her uh, homemade lasagna that I've talked about so much. Hopefully when I'm there, I can also get a uh, copy of the recipe uh, so I can bring it back and show it to you guys at some point. Um, but we're going to do that, I think. And I think what I'm going to do, uh, a lot of people like uh, when they fly home for Thanksgiving, they'll go home like on Wednesday night or something right before Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm actually, I think, going to go back the Friday before Thanksgiving because uh, a group of friends in my, of mine and I uh, for years and years have had a annual white elephant Christmas party that we do every year. Now, for the longest time, we actually did it around Christmas, uh, but it got too difficult with, you know, everybody's schedule. So we started doing it uh, a number of years ago in the middle of the summer, and <clears throat> it's and it's worked out really well because, you know, everyone's more available and, and you know, the, the, it's more of a social get together and all that. And we can be outside in the summer and it's, it's just, it was a lot more convenient to do that. Well, usually, you know, like I said, we've done it every year. It's been an annual thing. Well, a couple of years ago, it got canceled the last minute because one of the members of the group of my friend's group, uh, her mother passed away a couple of days before under kind of odd circumstances. In fact, I haven't even heard all of the circumstances and I'm guessing that's one of the things we'll be talking about while we're there. But uh, it didn't happen that year. And then for some reason it didn't happen last year either. Uh, so we were kind of getting to the point where we thought maybe, you know, it just wasn't gonna happen uh, anymore. Well, I got word from my friends a couple weeks ago uh, that the White Elephant Party was back on again this year, and it was going to be the Saturday before Thanksgiving. And I said, well, you know, I'll see if I can be there. And, uh, you know, because I live in Texas now. They didn't even know that, by the way, uh, that I had moved. Uh, so, you know, it was a matter of, you know, I'll see if I can be there. Well, since I'm going there anyway and probably want to spend a little time with my parents, I just figured, you know what, I'll go a week early and I can go to the Christmas party with my friends and uh, still be there for uh, Thanksgiving with my parents. And then I'll probably go home the day after Thanksgiving uh, just to, uh, you know, give, give me a little time to be with my parents. It'll, nice, it'll be nice to be with them this time without having any kind of like hospital issues and, and you know, medical issues and family issues. It'll just be time to get together and have some fun. So hopefully I can also get together with Jordan and maybe go, go on an adventure with him or something during the during that time as well. So I don't know. We'll see. But what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to fly out of here uh, the day the Friday before Thanksgiving, so that I have so that I can go to this uh, Christmas party on Saturday, and I'll stay here, stay there uh, through uh, Thanksgiving Day, and then fly out the day after Thanksgiving, come back home. So. I'm going to sit down today and make an airline reservation for that because, you know, the Thanksgiving weekend, uh, that's one of the most, you know, one of the busiest uh, travel holidays in the nation. So, you know, the earlier I can do it, the better price I'm going to get. So we're going to do that today. In addition, we had a little bit of excitement here at the apartment this morning. Uh, apparently in one of the other buildings, uh, they had hired a carpet cleaning crew to come in and clean the carpet in one of the apartments and something happened while that was going on and apparently the uh, industrial vacuum that was in the back of this van seized up and failed in some spectacular way. It uh, started a fire in the back of the van which 
ignited a bunch of chemicals. There was an explosion, literally destroyed this van and, uh, you know, sent a bunch of smoke up in the air. You know, I had, uh, the first I was aware of it, I'd heard some, uh, you know, emergency vehicles in the area and that isn't terribly uncommon. So I didn't really pay that much attention to it. But a few minutes later, I was uh, looking out the window and there was a bunch of smoke in the area. And I said, I've kind of put two and two together and said, hmm, I wonder if there's a connection between, you know, the smoke and the emergency vehicles I had heard. And so I went outside and, and you know, I figured I'd smell like burning wood. Well, it wasn't burning wood, it was burning rubber. So something plastic or rubber was on fire and it was very, very close. And then all of a sudden I saw a couple of the other neighbors and they, and they said, oh yeah, there's, a, there's something over there that caught on fire. At the point it was still in milk and smoke, you couldn't even see what it was. And um, so I, you know, ran out there to see it, you know, being the looky-loo that I am um, and uh, watched it for a few minutes. Well, I was wearing shirt pants and, and a t-shirt and got cold really quick because it's like 34 degrees right now. And so I couldn't stay in there for, stay out there for long. So I came in, quickly changed into uh, long sleeve pants and put on a jacket. I brought my camera out there and I got a little bit of foot. Well, I got a lot of footage actually of the whole thing. Unfortunately, I can't show most of it because it reveals a little too, too much information about where I live and I don't want to do that. But there are some things where I kind of got a chance to walk around the, uh, uh, the burned out van after they put it out. And I think I can show some of that footage without revealing too much about where I live. So, you know, I'm, I've, uh, while I'm talking about this, I've put some video over the top so you can kind of see what was going on. It was a pretty intense fire and uh, it, uh, you know, totaled the van completely. Uh, there was a car that was parked next to it that had some pretty serious damage to it. And it also kind of scorched uh, the carport uh, in the immediate area. Now, fortunately, the company was doing the company that was doing the cleaning of the carpet is also a uh, restoration company. So they're going to obviously be hired to come in and, uh, you know, do the do the repair to the uh, carport. It doesn't look like it's any real structural. It just it got so hot in there that it peeled the paint off of it. So they're going to have to, you know, do a little bit of work on that. Uh, they're going to and their insurance company is going to be paying to fix that car and all that. Fortunately, nobody was hurt. So that was the good news. And it created a little excitement around here. So. Um, anyway, that is all I have for today. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.